Where'd you go? I went. I went to Newburgh Comics to get some records. Again? Again? You can never get enough records. I know, but you've been there every day this week. Because record store day is coming up, Dave. April seventeenth. I have to be ready. I can't go in there cold and nervous and not knowing, you know, how to how to pick out a record. Fair enough. Do you guys know about record store day on April seventeenth? No. No. What's record store day? <laughs> What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for record store day. It's April 17th. That's like a month from now. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be first in line. Do you know about record store day on April 17th? No. It's a day to celebrate record stores. Do you like music? Yes. Do you like when it's recorded? Yeah, yeah. sometimes. What would you say is your main reason for going to your local record shop? Um, I'm not tech savvy, and every time I try to download vinyl, it gets messed up. Hmm. So I'm weary of vinyl being mailed to me. They don't sell it at Sears. They don't sell it at McDonald's. They sell it at record stores, so that's why I go. So are you going to go to record store day this year? Uh, probably. Prob probably. It's record store day, April 17th. You're not going to... Okay, I'll go. You were saying earlier you had a couple uh, great finds at Newberry Comics here in Boston. You want to show us a few? Sure. This is one of my prize collections. This is Rolling, St Rolling Stone Sticky Fingers. Um, I have a couple copies and definitely played it out. But this one's very special because it actually has the actual zipper right here. So it's a real zipper to Mick Jagger's crotch Classic. area. And I filled with it too much and so I had to put it behind glass. Two things you want to do when you go into any record store is you buy the number one record on sale. That way, to your friends and people you want, want run into, you know what you're talking about and you can talk about what's going on. But then you got to buy something that no one's ever heard of. So then you got to find that thing and then maybe ask some people in the store, have you heard of this? You got to get like three people who said no and you buy those two things. This is um, a guy named George Carlin, not the greatest singer or songwriter. It's not really an album you can sing along to or tap your feet to, but you know, I, I put it behind glass. I don't want people to take it out and think, you know, I actually listen to the kind of music. Yeah. Um, this is probably my favorite. Um, Pearl Bailey sings for adults only because it's just very unique, and I, I have it behind glass because. I still have two more years before I can listen to it. Well, I like live music, but I like recording. Music. Yeah, like <laughs> you listen, ever listen to music and headphones? Or, yeah. yeah so all you the time. like recorded music? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and where do you think that comes from? My friend stores. stores. <laughs> exactly. So April seventeenth, maybe you might visit a record store. Yeah, yeah, I would consider that for sure. Seriously? We're there. Yeah. We'll be there. April seventeenth.